For an emergency response to be effective, everyone must be involved. This includes persons with disabilities. They are always among those most impacted by disaster and conflict, those most excluded from aid, and too often are the least likely to be engaged in decision-making. In 2019, the Interagency Standing Committee broke new ground in addressing these inequities. It produced, together with 600 stakeholders, including organizations of persons with disabilities, a new set of guidelines to help humanitarians. The IASC guidelines for the inclusion of persons with disabilities in humanitarian action set out essential steps that humanitarian actors must take to reach all persons with disabilities during any given crisis. It is Chapter 5 of these guidelines that focuses on the partnerships with and the empowerment of organizations of persons with disabilities, aka OPDs. OPDs are hugely diverse in membership, location, size and purpose. They already have many priorities as they continue to fight for inclusion in everyday life. Not all will have a humanitarian mandate or experience. Nevertheless, OPDs must be meaningfully engaged in all stages of the humanitarian program cycle, from preparedness to response, recovery, and all necessary monitoring and evaluation. Equal partnership is not just important but crucial. There must be adequate dedication of resources, including financial ones, so OPDs can engage and support, leaving no one left behind in an emergency crisis. OPDs offer a multitude of solutions at all points of a crisis. They support the identification of persons with disabilities in their communities, educate humanitarian actors about disabilities through their lived experience, strengthen advocacy campaigns with national and local governments to ensure that services are inclusive, identify key actions that need to be made for inclusive policies and practices support data collection and also monitor the inclusion of persons with disabilities during the crisis. Even in humanitarian situations where no OPD exists, persons with disabilities representing the affected population must still be identified, included and consulted. The IASC guidelines make clear that an equal partnership between humanitarian stakeholders and OPDs fully funded and established pre-crisis is critical to ensure that all responses are fully inclusive. It is vital for the IASC guidelines to be used by everyone. In fact, it is a legal obligation for OPDs to be involved in humanitarian action so the rights of persons with disabilities can be respected, protected and fulfilled.